Have you ever felt overwhelmed because you've got multiple takes or versions of a clip and you're unsure which one's going to work best in your final edit? What if I told you there's a feature in Final Cut Pro that not only organises these versions but also lets you seamlessly switch between them so that you can easily choose the best shot? Well that feature is called Auditions and it's an awesome way to organise and compare multiple versions of a clip. Whether you have several takes of a scene or you want to try out different effects on the same clip, Auditions lets you group the clips together, making your editing process quicker and more efficient. But Auditions isn't just about organisation, it adds even more benefits to your editing workflow because you can preserve alternative edits so that you can experiment with different takes or effects without disrupting the main timeline. And you've got a streamlined workflow so after reviewing your clips in an audition, you can go ahead and finalise your choice, ensuring that you're using your preferred clip in your final edit. So first let's dive into using auditions for multiple takes. If you've got multiple takes of a scene and you want to decide which one fits best, you can start by setting up auditions from the browser. All you have to do is highlight all the clips you want to choose from and then go to clip, then audition and select create, or you can use the shortcut command Y. Then all the takes are going to be grouped into one clip in the browser with an audition icon in the top left corner to identify it as an audition. And then you can just drop that onto your timeline like you would any other clip. Now say you already have a clip on the timeline or any audition that you've already created that you want to add more clips to, you can either use the drag and drop method by simply dragging the clip you want to add from the browser directly onto the clip or the audition in the timeline. But first make sure you've got the selection tool enabled by pressing A because if the position tool is selected then you'll overwrite the clip and that's not what we're trying to do. So with the selection tool selected, when you drag the clip from the browser over to the clip on the timeline, you'll get a menu show up choose add to audition then that'll add the new clip as another version within the existing audition otherwise you can just use the menu with the audition clip selected in the timeline select the clip you want from the browser go up to clip audition add to audition or use the shortcut Control shift y Okay, so what if you're not working with multiple takes, but instead you've got one clip and you want to use an effect, but you're not sure which effect is going to work best. You can choose your first effect. Let's go for motion arrays, light and flares, and I'll select gleam. Drop that on your clip. Then you can duplicate the selected clip without the applied effects simply by using the shortcut shift command Y. Otherwise, if you're color grading, for example, and you just want to make a small tweak and compare the two versions, you can use the shortcut option Y, and that'll create a duplicate clip in the audition with the effects applied, and then you can tweak them individually as you like. Final Cut comes with loads of effects to choose from, but to get more advanced, professional looking effects, Motion Array recently launched a plugin toolkit which offers a variety of tools, including effects for color grading, light flares, and so many more. And this plugin tool will just be installed into Final Cut so you don't have to go through Motion Array's website and download each effect, which is great. And using Motion Array just means you don't have to try and create pro level effects yourself, and you can just drag and drop what you want to use, make tweaks if necessary, and you're good to go. So for a full overview of what the toolkit offers there's a link in the description and you can also download individual assets from motion array 2 as there are loads of templates and presets on their overall library so now that you know how to actually create an audition i'll show you how to preview the versions and select the final clip you want to use so to open the audition and see the different versions as a film strip you can either click on the audition icon or select the audition and press y if you want to delete any of the versions just click on the one that you want to get rid of and hit delete on your keyboard if you want to cycle through versions without opening the film strip you can either hit control and option and then use the left and right arrows to cycle through the clips or you can hit control command Y and you'll see the film strip view and it will start to play back You can click on each version to preview or playback or use the left and right arrows on your keyboard and the timeline will automatically update and play the selected version, allowing you to see how each version fits within your overall edit. And then when it's time to finalize the edit, find the version you want to use, make sure it's highlighted, then right click on the audition clip in the timeline and select audition, finalize audition. This then sets the chosen version as the primary clip on the timeline and it will remove all the other versions completely. So I know that's a lot to digest, especially with all the key keyboard shortcuts but I have put together a cheat sheet of keyboard shortcuts in Final Cut Pro that you can use on a daily basis to really speed up the work 
workflow as well as the keyboard shortcuts to this audition as well just so that you can go through them and familiarize yourself with them so that you can use them effectively so the link to that's in the description thanks to motion array for sponsoring this video i hope auditions helps you speed up your edits a bit and just becomes one of those invaluable features that you're glad you knew about don't forget to hit the like button for me if the video was helpful and i'll catch you guys later Thank you.